Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s Episode 89! Confirm na as of... Uh, as of last episode, we're now on the road to the finale. Simula ng duelo, uh, Tiger have the upper hand. May fusion monster na rin pala siya. Malakas ito. Then, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, um, when Luke needs to panic kasi 500 life points na lang siya, at yung dalawa niyang, uh, yung dalawang ace monsters niya, na neutralize ng kanyang ate. So eventually, he, um, what was supposedly the, la the final turn of the duel, nope. This was his winning one. Nagbunot siya. He does a fusion summon of his own. Si... Uh, si Mertaglia Star F. Pinasugod niya. Then, Tiger counters with a trap. Na, na destroy. Pero, yung palang hinihintay niya kay Tiger na i-destroy itong monster na to. He activates the card, yung Heavenly Dragon ba yun? That suddenly... Special summons a dragon type, a, a dragon monster from his graveyard. Ang sinamon niya, si Dragias. Maze, maze pa lang effect ang trap na to. Yung pilang, yung pilang special summon niya kay Dragias. Dinadagdaga ng 1,000 attack ang sinamon ng monster. So, isang attack lang, talo si Tiger. Nasilat niya ang ate niya rito. And well, eventually, yung... Oh, Oh, they, they patch things up. Pero, before that, nag-poly effect yung relo ni Luke, yung relo ni Tiger, at yung Master Clock na hawak ng kanilang lelong. So, nag-react lahat yun din. Yung mga diniscard na na relo, dun din sa warehouse na yun, nabuhay lahat. What happened was, was an extreme power surge that Neil was waiting for. So, lapas ng ganun sa basement. Kumbaga, para siyang ano eh, para siyang an EMP blast, so to speak. Whereas, buong Goa City, shut down lahat ang uh, lahat ng electronics and electrical electrical appliances because that's what an EMP blast does. Even yung mga drones na gumagawa ng mga in, mga indie dueling formats dun sa, sa moon, shut down na rin yun. Final scene, well, sila just na lang kagad ni Asana that there's only one way to uh, to completely resolve this issue. Then the episode ends. <laughs> wow, bitin. Let's break this episode down now as much as we can. Critic sub style. Pace! Well, of course, dueling scene. At ganito kahaba. So, it was tense. Eh, dahil yung magkapatid na mismo naglalaban eh. Talagang neither... Uh, Talagang, wal walang gustong matalo. It was kind of a relatable pacing kasi uh, during uh, the days of the original trilogy, ganito kahaba ang mga dueling scenes. And it is the pacing that makes Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! So do I have complaints sa mga ka-lifestyle? Hell no! Like I've been saying all throughout this review, this is the kind of pacing that makes Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Flow naman! First gear shift here was, well, during the duel. Uh, when Luke had that sort, that reality check of sorts na bigla siyang tumahimik, then he just closed his eyes, then like a droplet of water, biglang... He had a... He had a he had a hallelujah moment of sorts in mean, that, that, that particular sequence. Why did I call this a gear shift? It just goes to show you na maraming tinatagong alas si Luke. <laughs> despite his, um, despite his self-serving personality, his, um, his, him being dense all the time, may, Siya nga ang na pinakamalakas na duelist in this, uh, in this series. It's not Yuga. It's a, um, both a reality check and character development moment for the second lead character. 
Final gear shift. Yup. Dalawang gear shift lang. Was yung yung explainer sequence ng lelong. Why do I call it a gear shift? Well, it quite explains it. Kumbaga, Luke did not acquire the poly effect on his own. Mana-mana pala ito. So, that, that really explains kung bakit bakit meron ganong ability si Luke. And, it's further enhanced by the watch his, his great-grandfather gave him. Then, all of a sudden, after, after ng isang napaka-intense na duelo, biglang, biglang magsisibukay lahat ng, lahat ng mga diniscard na relo, pati mga relo nilang gumagana. So, wow. Okay. That, that's, that's a science fiction type of gear shift. Okay. So, after, after two seasons, we now finally get the idea kung Uh, kung ano yung origin ng poly effects ability ni Luke. So, yeah. It runs in the family. So, these two gear shifts that I saw, um, both of them may play a role in the final three episodes. Opo, final three episodes na next week, mga ka-lifestyle. Matatapos na talaga ang sevens. Plot lies! Um, Merong flashback sequence si Luke doon when, when he was uh, when he had that reality check moment when he when he had that uh, yeah we could now call it uh, we now we, we can now also call it a hallelujah moment kasi sa flashback sequence doon then while the great the great grandfather was explaining kung bakit bakit ganun ka sensitive yung yung master clock na ha, yung master watch na hanap na hawak niya well that's an explainer sequence It's part of the main continuity. Pero, it's, well, it's just for, it's just for, parang visual reference. Well, that, that's what explainer sequences do. Well, total, ini-explain naman ng lelong eh. So, planchado ang plot. I couldn't say na malinis dahil you have to give a reason kung bakit merong flashback sequence si Luke, bakit merong explainer sequence si Lelong. Yung Lelong niya. And, well, those are, those are pretty good reasons. Kasi, kung, kung i-explain lang ni, uh, ni, ni Lelong Kamijo, okay, ni, ni Lelong Kamijo, without, uh, without a visual reference to it, That sequence might become dragging. Baka ma, baka tama rin na sa panonood yung viewer. Now, yung backstory sequence ni Luke doon while he was having that hallelujah moment of sorts. Um, it just goes to show you that um, yun ang pinag-uugutan ni Luke. Because, well, bottom line, he's He's been trying to be competitive, at least competitive with his, uh, with his, uh, with his older, with his elder sister, who is the overachiever of the family. That was probably his goal, and all of a sudden, and he it got he got so frustrated that he, uh, he was trying to escape reality. But no, he said he said to Tiger, "I'm going to make my own dreams into reality." Then. He proceeded to beating her. So, all important, alam na natin ngayon kung ano yung pinaghuhugutan ni Luke all this time, all throughout the series, and of course, the explainer scene. Kung, kung hindi nilagyan ng visual reference yun, magiging boring yung sequence na yun. I tell you guys. Kaya, planchado ang plot. So, pace, flow, and plot, We all came together for this episode, folks. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 89. Classic pacing. Two thumbs up. All we have to do now is uh, do some conspiracy theories as to how how um, 
how the Yu-Gi-Oh! series for kids is about to end. <laughs> kasi, pambata yung nga. Yung pagkaka-anime kasi ng bridge dito, talagang pambata eh. <laughs> Alright? Oi, in case you, in case you, in case you forgot already, bridge, um, bridge is the animation studio behind this, and of course, the Shaman King reboot. So, halos, kundi kung isa side by side nyo, ang, ang, ang stills, kahit anong, kahit anong episode, isa animation style. So, you know, talaga, it's bridge. And, mukhang, mukhang very interesting yung teaser, ah, yung, ano, yung title ng teaser. So, yeah. I think that's the only way to, uh, to totally, to totally clear this issue of, uh, of, uh, the dueling system eventually shutting down permanently because of this overflow of independent rush duel formats. Yep. Someone's gotta put a stop to it, hindi. It's going to shut dueling down altogether. It's a situation so great, even Goha Yuga is concerned. Like we saw in the last episode, Otis is the real big bad here. Ito talaga ang plano ni Otis. So, well, we're in for a pretty big final three episodes for this Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Um, but I'm not keeping my hopes up kasi We might experience the well. Ito sinasabi ko sa inyo, mga um, I'm giving you a warning. We might experience the debacle of Arc Five and the um. Let's call this. Yeah, yun lang. We might experience the debacle of Arc Five. Kasi yung well, fans were totally satisfied with the finale of Arc Five, the the final three episodes. Yung yung duel yung the duel between um uh, Yuya and Reiji that oh, that spanned two and a half episodes parang ano eh uh, it took too long it took really it took basta it took too long so sana um uh, sana man lang yung kumagkakaw naman ng uh, final boss duel dito they should shorten it to at least two episodes they should shorten it to at least two episodes. Kasi, kung i-extend, if they're going to start the big boss, uh, the final boss duel as early as episode 90, which will, which comes around probably, yeah, uh, tomorrow as of this recording, masisira eh. Baka mapare sa arc 5. At least, do it, do it like, uh, like what Gallop uh, did to Vrains. Yun. Two, talaga masasahin mo, two-part finale siya. Kasi, ganun katagal yung laban nila, nila Playmaker and I. Oh, sana ganun lang. And, 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 hey, that final boss duel was pretty exciting. Like, talagang, yung, yung magka-partner ang nagtapat na sa, sa finale. Yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't end it any other way. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's Episode 89 Two thumbs up And after two thumbs up for 7 It's one of the Wow Tinalo Tinalo sa wakas din si Tiger Na Coming of age party So Patreon Wait for my next upload Regarding this anime And for those of you Who are still stuck with the CHD What What else can you do Kundi Chumilla Enjoy this review and I'll see you in the next one.